Hello, this is Mary Bush with Stampin' in the Sand. Welcome to my Watercolor Birthday Blossoms Class to Go. If you've purchased my Class to Go, you have received from me all of the supplies for creating your four cards as well as the Birthday Blossom Stamp Set. This stamp set also has a coordinating punch. It's the Pansy Punch. It was not included in the Class to Go. It was available for purchase separately if you did not purchase it. No worries, you can also cut out your pansy by hand using some snips and um, you'll be all set to go. So let's get started with our first card. Included in your kit is a piece of shimmer white cardstock. This is cardstock that has some shimmer and glimmer already built into the fibers of the paper. Using my archival ink pad, I have stamped the blossom image four times onto my paper and I've also stamped my leaf image twice. We're only going to use one in our cards today, but I prepared um, enough cardstock so that you could cut an extra leaf if you wish to add that to one of your other card designs. So starting with your piece of shimmer white cardstock, you will stamp out your your four blossoms and your one or two leaf stems and you'll want to use either the archival basic black or your stays on black because we are going to be watercoloring today. So I have here, if I don't spill it like I did when I was preparing for the video, I have here a tray, a plastic tray that's just to hold my water so that I don't spill and make a total disaster. I also like to have a little piece of um, paper towel, wet paper towel, and I have a little cup of water. Now my aqua painter, you can directly fill your aqua painter with water. I like to just dip in my cup or dab on some wet paper towel to get my water. Um, it it kind of helps me control how much water I put down at one time a little better. So we can start with our leaves. I'm using Wild Wasabi ink. All I do is press my closed ink pad to get some ink onto the surface of the cover. So you can see here, there it is. I'm just gonna move my other colors out of the way for a moment and bring this in. I'm also gonna move this because it's putting a shadow from my light on my paper. And using my aqua painter, I'm just gonna dab it here on my paper towel, get it a little wet, pick up some ink with my aqua painter, and then I can color on my leaves. Okay, so there's my first leaf. I think he came out pretty good. And now I can clean off my aqua painter, swishing it around in my cup of water, dab it off on my paper towel, and I am done with my wild wasabi ink. Put that aside. Now we have four cards. Two cards have the Blackberry Bliss flower with a Hello Honey middle, and two flowers I did with just Hello Honey. You can mix it up. You don't have to follow exactly what I did or um, you can follow right along. So again, we're going to squeeze our ink pad, get some of that color onto the inside of our ink. Open that up. I'm going to bring back in my aqua painter and I'm going to color two centers. And hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. I just heard something on my table rattle. So hopefully I'm not shaking you guys here. So there's the two centers that will be for my Blackberry Bliss flower. And then I'm just going to come in and I'm going to color two flowers in my Hello Honey. Okay, so that's completed. I'm going to clean up my brush here. And now I'm going to 
put this away, put away my Hello Honey, and I'm going to do the same process using my Blackberry Bliss. So again, rinse off my aqua painter, dab it off a bit on my paper towel. That's a really dark color. Oops. Now I know we've got to be shaking the table. Okay, so I'm just going to spend some time coloring here and then we can get started assembling our first card. Okay, so now my watercoloring is complete, and we can let that dry for a bit. Okay, so now that that's had a chance to dry, we're going to come in with our pansy punch or paper snips and cut out our flowers. Now, if you do happen to have the pansy punch, you do want to note that the flower only fits in the punch a certain way. So what I've done is on the back of my stamp, and I don't use the cling um, outline on the back of my stamps, I just use the foam. So what I did is I put a marker mark on the petal that fits into the punch this way. Okay, so that tells me that every time I stamp this flower, if I want to use the punch, I need to punch it with my little tick mark facing down. And that's just a tip so it makes it a lot easier for you to stamp out your, uh, punch out your flower once you've stamped it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch out all of my flowers here. And the card that we're starting on uses just one of our pansies. So I've got my one pansy. Now from your kit, you're going to need some of your black twine here. And you're gonna need about 28 inches, I think is what I prepared um, for assembling my card here. You also need one of your white panels, which is four by five and a quarter and one of your black card bases. You also need the one inch by five and a quarter honeycomb pattern designer papers. And I'm just gonna come along with my fast fuse for the, for the sake of time. Usually I would probably use liquid glue. And I'm going to put this down on my card front so that I'm leaving a slight bit of white border. Then I'm going to come in with my twine. See if I can do this so that I can actually tie a bow. And I'm going to wrap it around twice. Make sure I have enough length to actually tie a bow. And get my bow tied here. a little loose but I can fix it on the back side. Alright so here's my little bow. I'm going to come in and just trim the tail so that they're the same length and I'm actually going to shift this bow so it's up towards the top like so. Then I'm going to come in with my flower here and you can do this step before or after you adhere your, your paper. I might have gotten a little bit ahead of myself, but that's fine. So we're going to come in with our archival black ink. And you're going to take your scattered flower petals here. We're going to ink that up in the black archival ink. And we're going to stamp it in the upper corner. And hopefully I didn't just smudge that. Oh, not too bad. I smudged it a little bit. I felt it shift, but it was a little late. I couldn't save it. 
Okay, so then I've got my archival black again, and I need my leaves. And this is just going to get directly stamped onto the card front, like so. Then I'm coming in with my happy birthday. And because I can't stand when I stamp crooked, I've already prepared a stamp -a jig template. Now, when I did the stamp -a jig template, I did not use the archival black because you don't want it to be permanent um, on your template here. So I used the memento black for that. So we're gonna line that up. Take this away. I think I already inked this up, but I'm going to ink it up again because better safe than sorry. And now I can stamp my greeting on the front of my card. And that's nice and straight. Close up my ink pad because accidents always seem to happen. And then I can come in. I've got my flower here. We need some of our sequins. Now at the time that I first created this card, I was using the, what is it? Crystal effects for my adhesive, for holding on my um, gold sequins here. But now we have this fabulous fine tip glue pen. So I'm actually going to use that today. And we're gonna finish this up. So I'm gonna bring back in my Hello Honey ink pad and aqua painter. And we're just gonna color the little itty bitty centers of each one of these little flowers. All right, so that's all done. I'm gonna close that up and put it away. And now we can finish our card now. Adhesives were not included in the kit by mail, so you can choose now whether you want to flat glue your card panel on or if you would rather put it up on dimensionals. I'm going to leave that entirely up to you. I'm going to put mine up on dimensionals. Okay, and then I'm going to add one dimensional. If I can figure out where I put them. I'm going to add one dimensional to the back of my pansy and I'm going to just gently curl up his petals just a little bit and I'm going to place that just where my leaf stem is. Then I can come in with my fine tip glue pen or if you have crystal effects or any other kind of adhesive and I'm just going to put a little tiny dot of glue. You don't need a lot. Not You don't need a lot with the crystal effects and you don't need a lot with this fine tip glue. And I'm just going to add a tiny little speck. I need three of my sequins which were included in the kit if you purchased my kit by mail. If I can get them off. Do you ever notice that when you're in a hurry nothing works quickly? Bring in my tweezers. And I'm just going to add one little sequin onto each of my little glue dots. Boy, ah! Well, he ran away. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to be on the card. He doesn't want to play. He left. Okay. So now I have my gold sequins. So our coal, our cow, bleh, oh my gosh, please, tongue tied. Our card front is now complete. Now also included in the kit is an insert for the inside of your card. Now at this point, you have another decision you can make. That's all up to your own creativity. You can either choose to put some more of the scattered flowers on the inside of your card, or you can add one more of these pansies in one of the corners. And it's all, I'm gonna leave that all up to you because it depends on how much writing you wanna do, 
who the recipient's going to be and of course your own personal preference. I tend to write too much and too large so I'm going to use two scatterings of flowers so I can force myself to keep it short and sweet when I mail this to my recipient and I will glue this once this is dry. I will glue this to the inside of my card and I may just come back and do some of that Hello Honey insert to the insides of my flowers. So there you have it. That is our very first card in my Watercolor Birthday Blossoms class to go. I look forward to joining to your joining me for the next three cards in the series. If you have not purchased my card class to go and you are interested in this class, you can find the details on my blog, www.stampininthesand.blogspot.com. So thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy stampin'!